Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a vehicle which, honestly, could have been in the game from the get-go. And that's why I've got it sitting right next to this Chevy uh, K1500 over here, because this thing literally looks like it's on the quality level of the, like, literally the exact same quality level as that K1500. Now, this is just at a glance, for sure, like, I've never, I haven't even been inside it yet, I haven't driven it yet, but just lining it up right next to this truck totally looks like it could have been in the game from the get-go. Now, if we go inside, oh my god! Look at this interior. You've even got the back seat, the front seats, you've got the armrest, you've got the little wood panel right where the window crank is, you've got the door handles, you've got the dash, the AC controls, the radio, that there's really everything here. The pedals, it's, it's, it's all here, guys. It's genuinely all here. Now, all-wheel drive seems to be always on, so let's go ahead and fire it up and see if it's actually adjustable or if it really is always on. Yeah, it's always on. Now, diff lock, of course, is not on all the time. You have to adjust that, but let's go ahead and take this 1983 Bronco into the garage and see what you can do to it. So if we go straight into the customization, we've got, okay, well, seems to me that some of these, uh, seems to me that some of these names are incomplete, but let's see, engine one, two, eh, we'll do engine two, and let's see, default, highway, off-road, we'll do off-road just to have it there, and we've got raised and tuned custom, so I'm gonna go with the tuned custom just so we can fit whatever tires are the biggest ones available, and it seems like that's probably gonna be a 35 no it's a 39 holy smokes you can put a 39 on this thing uh th some of these wheels seem to be a bit okay some of them don't load immediately that that is a tire compound from forza and it's backwards th there's something fishy there um and let's see why the heck does that say wait a minute that says Michelin Pilot Sport 3? What? That's not a Michelin Pilot Sport of any kind. Let's do... Okay, let's do the... I kind of want to do the 39-inch... Um, the 39-inch mud terrains, but the only problem with those is that they clip the bumper. Hmm. Any of the 39s, actually, will clip the bumper. Wow, the 35s almost clip it. Let's do... Okay, Let's do the 35s, just because I know that the, uh, let's see, offline, diff lock, engageable, and small roof rack. Ah, I might as well. There's nothing in it, but I might as well. And, let's see, tall mushroom. Now, for miscellaneous stuff, let's see, side pipe thresholds and angled sun visor. Don't really need either of those. That is a, oh, I see, so like a bumper cover? Some of these add-ons are strange, bro. Although, that does kind of line up well. So, I'm going to do the roof fogs. Stock. Heavy-duty pipe. Heavy-duty pipe. Does that line up? I mean, yeah. It, it, it kind of lines up. It kind of lines up. We'll do these wheels. And, okay. So, we do have several different um, special color configurations. And, let's see. I kind of dig this. I don't know if, like... I keep looking at it, and I'm like, I don't know if I'm good with this whole, like, wood and almost, like, brownish, like, cream color. But let's look through some of the other colors, which admittedly seem to be a little bit muted, almost. Like, you look at these colors, and you're like, huh, they're a little bit muted. I'm gonna go with this, just because it's one of the few that's actually, like, there. It's actually, like, bright. But let's go ahead and take it out now, and see how it drives. Oh, the turning radius is pretty awesome, actually. Look at that. That's pretty respectable. Can it pull any trailers? So if this is to be a usable scout... Okay, yeah. Prototype exploration unit. Fla scout flatbed. Scout fuel. Not bad. I mean, a pretty good assortment of scout trailers. I could definitely see this being a viable option for a modded campaign playthrough that wouldn't really affect the balance of anything. It wouldn't, it wouldn't overpower the game. It wouldn't... It wouldn't make it so it would be like a uh, cheat code just to complete everything instantly, but easy. Not bad. It handles pretty flat, actually. Surprisingly flat. Yeah, look at that. Like, when I threw it around, I expected it to have more, like, more body roll. Uh-oh. Wow, it sunk immediately. Dude. 
Holy smokes. This is low with the div lock on. I think that we might have encountered like a glitch or something or buried our bumper because that was a little odd. Like when we drove it in there, it was dead. It was dead and that was that. It looks so good though. I mean, I don't know of any other vehicles right now that like mods wise. Well, I know of a few, but I don't know of many other mod vehicles that fit themselves into the game's balance so well. This thing fits itself into the game's balance incredibly well. I was like, come on, let's go. Oh geez, oh geez, oh boy. All right, let's see if we can, oh God. I was gonna say, let's see if we can climb that hill. Maybe. Uh, come on. Yeah, I mean, if you can get it to not scrape, it, it'll climb it. What about up this rock? Let's leave it in high and just see. It keeps hanging up on the bumpers because, like, the traction is really good, but it's not necessarily high enough to where it doesn't snag on things. I mean, let's see. Suspension ultimate, so we can't really go any higher, and we don't really have any kind of adjustable suspension here, which would be really nice to have. I would love it if they would kind of go back and do an adjustable suspension that might have had a, like, another level up on top of this that would be even higher, because, again, we're dealing with some bumper snag pretty bad. Now, I suppose that here, let's see. Those are bigger. There we go. So that would be the 39s. Let's see how much those help. Even though they clip into the fenders, I'm still kind of okay-ish with trying them out. God, they've got enough power to back it up a little bit. That's impressive. Normally you would think that they wouldn't. Oh boy. Yep, she's stuck though. It's stuck on the bumper. There's really nowhere for it to go. And I think... Oh, never mind. There's kind of somewhere for it to go. Uh, it's... It's kind of in this weird in-between right now where it, it wants to back up, but it's lodged. And it wants to go forward, but it's also lodged there. So it's lodged both forwards and backwards. And there's really not much that it can do. Come on, back it up. That, or not. Oh, it almost had it right there, dude. It almost had it. It almost made it. All right, tell you what. We'll bring in one Ford to rescue another Ford. Enter the high boy. Dang, pulled from the front. That that really got it. Well, I think it's safe to say we've managed the rock test. The rock test portion is definitely complete. Now, let's take it down to the mud and see how it does there. Now, keep in mind, we are running a 39 on it now. And if I'm going to flip it, I might as well flip it near the trees, right? Hey, we're going to be just fine. All we got to do is oof. That's bad. Just a little bit of a repair, and then we're all good. All right, I'm going to dive it into the mud in high, and we'll see how far it goes. It's not too bad so far, but you can definitely see that mud is not going to be this thing's strong suit. Low plus, diff lock engaged. Speed did not really change all that much from high to low plus, and that's how you know you're having some major traction issues. It goes, though. It's not bad. It's definitely not bad. I mean, it's getting it done in low plus. No complaints in this, you know, this particular density of mud. Now, I'm sure if we went across to the other side into the deeper mud pits, I'm sure it would have some trouble. But let's find out. Oh, it's actually already having trouble. So if it's, if it's having a bit of trouble here, I can guarantee you it's going to have some trouble over there. We're running into the next day. It's not bad, though. It's really not bad. And it feels like something that was designed to fit in with the balance of the other vehicles that were already in the game. Because the vehicles that were already in the game are going to perform fairly similar to this. I mean, this is... 
it, I think it's got some areas here and there where you might be able to say it's quote unquote overpowered, but not too many. Yeah, especially if you use the off-road box, because a lot of the a lot of the people that that will call like all mods overpowered will say that they're too fast. And if you put the off-road box in this thing, even with like the most powerful engine, it's not insanely fast. With the 39s, it's okay in here, but I would be curious as to how it would do with the 35s, because with the 39s, like yeah, it rams its bumper into the ground, but it like it's got so much tire that it doesn't matter but with a 35 it might matter a little bit more oh god it got hung up on that come on come on overall though it is not a bad rig it is not a bad rig by any stretch not by any stretch of the imagination whatsoever and even if i just do it straight on and don't even bother like don't even care to you know angle my my rig it's good i mean it's it's all good. It's just fine. Ooh, let's take it down this back trail. This should be interesting. I never take vehicles down here. I am curious. Let's go. It's getting it done. I mean, I love using it in interior view. Like, this would be... This would be something that you could drive with a wheel and feel like it was a pretty realistic experience. And that interior view quality, though, I mean, I I love a well-modeled interior view. And a lot of, it's interesting, a lot of modders don't do them because usually their answer to that is, well, like, nobody plays an interior view. But some people do, and I think the people that do will really appreciate the level of work that goes into making a high-quality uh, interior. Let's see, we're almost there. We are almost there. Let's go, Bronco, come on. God, it actually, it just looks so good. I mean, overall-wise, I mean, the visuals, man, it's a good-looking rig. Mud's getting a little deep. That's why I'm not going into low plus. I'm staying a little bit more conservative right now. I'm going to actually hit low minus because I don't want to start digging. That's the last thing you want in a place like this. Now, I know that I do have some winch points. Actually, I have a ton of winch points with the trees all over the place, but... I would really like to make it through without needing them, if possible. Kind of keeping it along the edge there, just to sort of give myself a little bit of extra security. And low minus to make sure I don't dig, because it looks like it gets very soft here. Just creeping right on out. Come on. There you go. Easy. Yeah, you could totally do some, like, some realistic off-roading with this thing. Like, if you wanted to have, like, a fairly realistic off-road experience, dude, fire this thing up. You're good to go. Dude, hello! Low plus works right here. If I put the wheels on the grass, it actually works a little bit better. If, if I put, like, two wheels on the grass, it's such a massive improvement. Oh, the mud gets deep again right here, though. That's why I'm definitely okay with having a couple of wheels on the grass. But I'm actually within view of our objective, our finishing point. Let's go. Got a couple of saplings in the way, but that's all right. No worries there. Mow these saplings over. Wow, it didn't bog that down in high at all. It's pretty impressive. That's pretty freaking impressive. Well, guys, this thing is definitely worth being added to your, uh, like, worth getting added to your mod collection. I, I, I think it's, I think it's actually one of the more realistic feeling and more balanced feeling mods I've driven lately. And if you guys, uh, have already driven this thing and have some opinions on it, leave them in the comment section below, because I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And if you haven't tried it, link will be in the description. And if you want to stay up to date, hit the subscribe button with the notifications on, and I'll see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later.